So Andre's sowing down some pasture grasses. Um, and what we're doing is the pasture grass is like a meadow brome grass, a tall fescue, wheatgrass, smooth brome grass, slender wheatgrass, a nice little pasture mixer to manage our diverse conditions. Uh, within the, um, the pasture mix, we're adding a, a pollinator mixture. This mixture has uh, sandfoils, hairy vetch, uh, crimson clover, just a whole bunch of different clovers, trefoils. Uh, it's got some grasses in here. Uh, buckwheat, it says, yellow mustard, um, alfalfa, black sunflower, just, just a scattering of all types of diverse floral to uh, to help the natural pollinators and to help my honeybees within the area. Um, all these uh, flowering plants contribute to the makeup of the forage itself, so it's good for the pasture mix. The cattle do very well on it. The, uh, especially the clovers, they add tremendous value to our soils, um, adding nitrogen to help the grass grow more. Uh, those roots go down and they tap down through the hard pan and they they uh, just create a much better uh, soil condition for our pastures. So when we uh, manage our pastures, we, we rotational graze. So we send them in, we graze it down and then kick them out and that allows our grasses to grow back and the legumes. And it should provide us a continual flower through the pastures right up till freeze up. Um, and the interesting thing is we found with the, especially the white clovers, uh, that we have like the tall white clover, sweet clover. They'll grow and the cattle will come and they'll almost like suck off the flowers and the the leaves from the plant when they go and graze it and somewhat leave the stem. And then that stem will come back and it'll just bust full of flowers the next time around. And my bees just go nuts. Like a, the pasture's almost like a beehive of activity all through the summer. Um, so it's really good for the bees because it provides a continual refresh of flowers throughout the summer. And it's, I mean, it's excellent for the soils because it is adding all that nitrogen to the soil uh, for that grass to grow. So uh, just a little something like this, just a little uh, touch of management. Uh, we can benefit native pollinators. We, we can provide benefit to our honeybees. Uh, we can build a better soil and uh, grow better grass. So it doesn't take much, just we have to put a little bit of thought into it. So that's what I'm doing right now. We're sowing down a little bit of pasture. You can see it in the background. Um, this is a half section, some muskeg, to kind of cut up farmland we've been farming, but we've increased our cattle herd, so we need more grass. So we're just gonna put this whole half section down to pasture and rotational graze more cattle on this piece of property. Um, it's gonna make for a really productive piece of property for us.